In this video, I'd like to take a look at how to print information in Microsoft Excel. So let's go to our Sales Data tab first. To print this, I just go to File and Print. And that looks really nice as it is, so I could just go ahead and select Print, and that would print out, and I'd be done. Now, with my sheet, I want to do a couple of things to this. Say that your boss said he'd like you to print these values out as well, but then when you print them, he'd like this centered across the page, and he'd also like a header and footer put in there. So let me show you how to do that. You want to go to File, and then Print, and then go down to Page Setup down here at the bottom of the window. And now to start by centering it, let's go ahead and go to Margins. And then the way he wants it centered is left-right. So horizontally refers to left-right, so it's balanced in the center of the page from a left-right perspective. Whereas vertical refers to a balancing or centering from a top-bottom perspective. Now we want it centered horizontally, so let's go ahead and select that. Click OK, and then it shifted not a lot, but notice how this margin is balanced with this margin. Prior to the centering, it was about right here. And I'll show you that just to make sure it's clear. So we'll go to margins, we'll turn this off for a second. Notice that there. See how there's less space here than there is here. So we'll go through that one last time. Margins horizontally, click OK. All right, that's centered, so that's done. And next, our boss wants a header and a footer. So go to Page Setup, and then go to Header and Footer. Now, to make a header or footer, you need to click on these buttons. So I'm going to go to Custom Header, and then Left, Center, and Right just corresponds to the left, center, and right of the document. So let's go to Right, and here I'm going to type Sales Data. Click OK. Notice it's shown up here. And now I'm going to go to my Custom Footer, and put in the right section, prepared by, and I'll put EOM. Okay, click OK, and then OK, and then there we go, sales data and prepared by EOM. And EOM stands for Employee of the Month, which hopefully is you after displaying your newfound Microsoft Excel skills. Okay, so click OK, and then that looks good. So that's ready to print as well. One other feature, let me just show you here. Let's say your boss wanted grid lines as well, and I'll show you what those are. So let's go to Sheet, select Grid Lines, click OK, and that shows how it looks in Excel. Now the grid lines are those background lines that show us each of our cells. So if you wanted that, you could do that as well, but I'll turn those off before we close here. Sheet, turn off the grid lines, and then there we go. OK, looks good. So we have our data sheet. And we have our chart as well. Okay, so this concludes our introductory series in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching.